All right, today being Wednesday, it is Ask the Weather Team Day. Today's weather question actually came from Julia. <laughs> What's it, turn around, don't drown? I know, right, right, right. So, so this one uh, pertaining to how deep does water have to be on the road for your car to hydroplane? Well, that's a really good question, actually, especially with all the, the rain we've seen recently. And it turns out the answer is a little bit tricky. There is no set amount. Like, uh, right, Julia, you know uh, a certain amount of water. Between, say, one to two feet of water can actually sweep a car off the road. And those are set numbers. But with hydroplaning, you can hydroplane on very little water if you're going fast enough. That's the thing. There's a relationship between the depth of the water and the speed you're going. So, but besides that, it can depend on uh, a variety of factors, tire size, tire pressure, tire tread, uh, the weight of the car, the speed of the car, the conditions on the road. So there's a lot of factors that go into it. But basically, it's unusual that people hydroplane under 50 miles an hour. So the basic rule is if you know there's going to be a lot of water on the roads, if you slow it down a bit, you're not going to be likely to hydroplane. So there's your answer. Uh, thanks. That's a good one. Uh, if you would like to ask questions, it's easy. Submit them. CBS6Albany.com. I just asked that because yesterday I did hit a pocket of water yeah. oh, on yeah. the road, and I was kind of like, ooh, you know, it, it kind of makes your heart drop a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and just like snow and ice, it doesn't matter if you have four-wheel drive or not. Nope. If you're in it. You're at you the know. mercy of Mother Nature, and it is frightening.